We're headed to uh, Franklin County, New York this week to do some trail riding. And I'm particularly excited about this trip because this is the first time in over a year that I've been able to cross the border and ride some trails outside of my local trail system. So this is a really easy drive from where I live in Ontario, Canada. It's about six hours uh, to get to Malone, New York, which is where we're staying. But it's only a two hour drive from Ottawa, Canada, and about a three hour drive from Syracuse, New York. Now, I know people that drive that every weekend just to ride trails in cottage country. I mean, if you're thinking about going for a good destination trip, you should definitely take a look at Franklin County. After a good night's rest at the Holiday Inn Express right in the town of Malone, we headed over to Adirondack Power Sports on State Route 37 to pick up our rental sleds and to meet our guide for this adventure, Chris Labarge. Oh, very good. good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you too. This is great. The weather's awesome. Yeah, Mother Nature's brought us some nice white stuff. Oh, today. you can't ask for better than this. Can't yeah, you're gonna uh, really enjoy your trip today. I'm really excited about it. Really. Chris is a great guy. He's a mover and a shaker, and he's really had his hands in the organization and development of snowmobiling in Franklin County. Connectivity to the trail system right out of the dealership parking lot is excellent. It weaves back through town into some of the nicest trails I've ever ridden on. Why is snowmobile important to Franklin County? It's a major tourism driver. It brings a lot of economic impact. In Franklin County, we have 50,000 people and we're the third largest county in the state of New York. When you have that low population, people need survival, uh, you know, in the off seasons. You know, we get a lot in the summer, and what we're really trying to do is bring that tourism industry that it's so badly needed in the off season, and snowmobiling can do that. Before we went on this trip, I kept hearing how incredible the trails were in Franklin County. You gotta come right here, it's amazing, you won't believe it. Look, I've ridden trails across Canada, the US, Norway, Finland. I love trail riding, it's my favorite type of snowmobiling. And I gotta be honest, they weren't lying about the trail systems in Franklin County. Impeccably groomed wide trails with a mix of winding hills and straightaways and gorgeous scenery. I always say Quebec is the benchmark for snowmobiling, and I feel like this is New York State's version of Quebec snowmobile trails. So one of the first steps is I, you know, I went to an initial meeting for Franklin Snowmobile Inc. and just started to inquire on what their grooming schedule was. And what we learned is that the schedule was one in which they groomed during the day. Uh, they only groomed during the week. The schedule wasn't the standard of what grooming is. Grooming is A, at night. B, you gotta groom when people are riding at night, which is on the weekends, so that you have the best experience. It gives the snow time to set up in that four, five, six hour, depending on the outside temperature. And then that trail system during the day through traffic will, will last much longer. So I didn't really know what to expect when we went to Franklin County out of the trail systems, but we're in the Adirondacks and, you know, so we're climbing beautiful hills and the scenery's gorgeous and things are opening up to, you know, freshly groomed trails and, you know, the speed limit's awesome. So we're just letting it rip. It was just a lot of fun. So now we have loops, you know, right here out of Malone, multiple, we, you know, from 50, 60 miles, to two, 300 mile loops that you can take in or over into Clinton County. You can go into St. Lawrence County. You can get down to the south part of Franklin County. It's just really what type of experience. Do you want a straight trail or do you really want some twisty, you know, windy, scenic mountain views? Do you want to stay in the valley? You choose, you can get it here in Franklin County because we cover from the St. Lawrence Valley all the way to the high peaks of the Adirondacks. After border closures and canceled vacations and not being able to travel in, into the US, I was really excited to just be out riding trails again and be surrounded by snowmobilers who were just as excited as I was to be out riding. We invited our friends from Snow Tracks to come over and ride with us. Hooked them up with a couple of snowmobiles and we went out riding for the day. We traversed across, you know, uh, the village of Malone. We hit Corridor 7, we made a couple of stops, in particular in Mountain View, just to kind of show them that, you know, we got some services, a couple of facilities there. 
Then what we did is we said, hey, let's take them off on what we believe is some of the, the best experience trails that you're gonna find probably anywhere in New York State and a lot of other places in the country. I've ridden in, in Michigan as, as well as up in, in Canada. And I, I gotta tell you, we've got a wide variety. So I said, let's traverse towards Standish Lime Mountain on the Wolf Pond Road. Then I took them on S83. We made a few stops there. And then we got them on our secondary trails, S84, with it's the Sable Highlands, you know, if you look it up in the Adirondack Park. And it's, it's just a beautiful ride on a logging road that's groomed anywhere from 12 to 16 feet wide. And, and it's just smooth. So up to this point in our adventure, I've been so impressed with the conditions. It had been snowing steadily since we left Malone, so our spirits were high and our little Indy 550s were, well, they were just doing great. We jumped down on our Thatcherville Trail, had a chance to run along the river, kind of get that experience as well. Then continued back on Corridor 7 and we stopped to, uh, to Charlie's. We were cold, damp and hungry and luckily rode right into the parking lot of Charlie's Inn where we could dry off, warm up and have some lunch in Franklin County for snowmobiling. So, you know, got a couple of places that you can uh, enjoy some, uh, some food and uh, a little bit of warmth as well as you can get gas at Charlie's. We had lunch at Charlie's Inn and we continued on Corridor 7 South. And that, that just creates a different experience. Now that the rails are out, you know, this is a section that, you know, New York State just pulled the rails from Tupper Lake to Saranac Lake and Lake Placid out. It's the new rail trail. It is groomed, you know, 12 to 14 feet wide. So after we left Charlie's Inn, our next destination was Tupper Lake, and we hopped on the newly developed rail line. Uh, trails were smooth and beautiful, and fun fact, the speed limit from Malone all the way down to Tupper Lake is 55 miles an hour, so we were just unleashing heck with our little indies. Franklin County has everything that you could ask for out of a snowmobile adventure. It's a close drive from Ontario, Montreal, and Syracuse. The snow is abundant, and the trails are incredible. So as we came into uh, Tupper Lake, our, you know, our final destination for an overnight was at Sheehan's Motel. When we get to the train station, you know, as we're heading south, you take a left, beautifully groomed trail. So in Tupper Lake, they got multiple motels that, you know, are opportunity to snowmobile directly into. What a day, seriously. As we arrived in Tupper Lake, the trail opened up right across the street from Sheehan's Adirondack Inn. Again, snowmobile friendly, restaurants close by, gas. It's a cool little town. So we finished up after uh, checking in at the motel. We went to Rocket River Brewing to really kind of finish out the day, get something to eat, and really kind of talk about the overall experience with our newfound friends from Snow Tracks. As much as I want Luke, AJ, and Mark to come ride here and experience what I did, I'm kind of feeling like if another trip comes up, I want to jump on it again because for me, Franklin County is my own little not-so-secret riding spot, and I can't wait to come back. Malone was a great starting point for this trip as well. There's Adirondack Power Sports and Roberts Sports if you need anything for your sled. There's ample accommodations, there's restaurants, and most importantly, they welcome snowmobilers. Plus, if you're looking for something to do after a long day of riding, the Aqua Assassin Casino is close by as well. So when you really look at Franklin County and what are we trying to accomplish, we're, we're trying to really demonstrate that we've got awesome trails that are flat, well-groomed, well-signed. We've got services, and I think most importantly, we have low traffic. And I know there's a lot of places that have done a great job marketing, but they have extremely high traffic. We don't have that experience here in Franklin County. That's what people are looking for. You have access to services throughout the county and you have access to other counties. So, you know, if you're going to come here and you want to make Malone your you know, destination and do multiple loops, you can do that for two, three, four days. If you say, hey, you know what, I'm coming from another county and I want to tour in and I want to kind of experience the trails in Franklin County, come to Malone, come to Franklin County and enjoy the trails, enjoy the services and the, and the good friends that you'll find here.